Welcome to an introduction and overview of your new Do the Math module. The purpose of the screencast is to familiarize yourself in the philosophy, components, and placement of students in the Do the Math intervention. Please feel free to pause the screencast at any time to spend more time with the components of this intervention. To get started, take a moment to locate your teacher's guide from your Do the Math module. Do the Math is an intervention program created by Marilyn Burns that gives students who have fallen behind a chance to catch up and keep up. Focusing on number sense and operations, the program teaches students the basic of math computation, number sense, and problem solving. It's not a replacement of grade level core content. The teacher's guide for each Do the Math module provides you with all you need to get started. Marilyn Burns designed this intervention to be teacher friendly and very explicit instructions for the teacher. Open the in to the introduction pages and Roman numeral four and five. Marilyn Burns gives a summary of the thinking and philosophy behind Do the Math. She offers 40 years of educational experience and we consider her the guru of math. In the overview, Marilyn Burns emphasizes the importance of students' understanding of mathematics through the lens of a struggling student. The emphasis is on making meaning, seeing relationships, and making connections, not just isolated events and skills. Do the Math builds on students' prior knowledge and deeply explores students' understandings and misunderstandings. Remember the purpose of this intervention is the emphasis on making meaning. Marilyn Burns has incorporated eight proven instructional strategies that help at-risk and struggling students succeed in math. More information about these strategies can be found in introduction pages Roman numeral six through nine. The materials included in your Do the Math module are organized to provide clear instructional guidance and professional support. Turn to the introduction on Roman numeral pages 10 and 11. Familiarize yourself with what comes in the kit. We highly encourage you to watch the short informative video clips where Marilyn Burns takes you into classrooms to show you how the different components of this program work. They are short, brisk, and highly informative. Also located on the disk are reproducibles for games, objective tracker, community newsletter, which is a parent take-home letter, professional articles, and beginning and end of module assessments. You can also use this resource as a complement to your core resource, whether it's investigations or everyday math. On Roman numeral 12 and 13, the unit at a glance shows the teaching cycle for a Do the Math module. Turn to the Dear Colleague letter on pages two and three. It provides an intro and objectives of Marilyn Burns thinking for the group of five lessons. On the lesson planner on page four and five, it chunks the lessons into four lessons and then an assessment to check for understanding. So you have listed planner, lesson summary, objectives, material, and built-in differentiation. The emphasis is on making meaning of uh, the objectives and lessons. And they are to be used in 20 to 30 minute uh, blocks of explicit teaching three to five times a week. We've seen best results when teachers are consistent with this. In each module, there's a professional book that has mathematical supports and valuable teaching guidance. If students are unsuccessful when you first get started after four lessons or on the fifth assessment lesson, that might not be the book they need to be in or the module they need to be in. You can reevaluate the placement of that student then. Don't wait until they're unsuccessful in all 30 lessons. 
Do the Math is organized into 13 scaffolded modules that focus on whole number and fluency with fractions. Every module includes a series of 30 minute, 30, 30 minute step-by-step -step lessons. The modular design gives the program the flexibility to span multiple grades. You've seen this RTI model before. It can help students catch up and keep up. It gives students who are at risk of falling behind or have already fallen behind a chance to catch up and keep up by focusing on building foundations with whole numbers and fractions. Do the math prepares students for success with higher level mathematics. Carefully and intentionally scaffolding the four core topic areas, addition and subtraction, multiplication, division, and fractions into three or four progressive modules, do the math, supports flexible delivery of instruction across all tiers of a response to intervention, RTI implementation. What are those assessments and other data you're using to identify students? Consider using the K2 screener, the GEM assessment, Acuity, TCAP, end of the unit assessment or teacher observations. Taking a look at the charts on the screen, the one to the left, tier one, high quality instruction for students who are at risk of falling behind in the current year's content. The setting could be in class, it might be a lesson or two whole class or small group. Tier two, that's a targeted group intervention. Students who are a year behind and struggling to move forward. The setting can be Title I, pull out, push in, after school, summer school, or small group instruction in your classroom. Tier 3, intensive intervention. Students who are two or more years behind grade level. The setting could be Special Ed, Title I, pull out, push in, after school, or summer school. The Teacher's Guide is your essential resource that is easy to use and to implement. The Do the Math module is easy to use and designed for very li little teacher preparation. Please join us on our next screencast on student placement on how you can incorporate Do the Math into the Framework for Mathematics Instruction.